Guys, Tachio here, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a hopper clock using um, this uh, version. And this one will help automate your farms, like the pumpkin and sugar farms. And um, this um, version um, is used by me um, to automate all of my farms at Skyblock and. Um, as most people have seen or have been using or most of them have been using on Skyblock is uh, this version which is the repeater clock um, I'm not that kind of a fan of this version because with this version um, the lag sometimes messes things up so um, it's kinda uh, frustrating to just fix it um, every once in a while if something goes wrong for example with no lag uh, we can just turn it on and do that however um, sometimes when we just pull the lever on and then pull it back off the with the lag it will send out at least this type of signal which is kinda not the optimized um, level for this um, version so let's just take it off and drain this um, redstone um, power so that we can test this out so the optimized for this one should be at least two or one of them um, this will g cycle through at least 10 seconds I believe or 8 and then let's just um, test it out with a piston and see how this works oops this should be um, powering up this piston there you have it it's just gonna be automating your farms however with this design I'm not keen on using it because if you wanted a longer delay you'd be using um, more repeaters which costs more than this um, design which only um, uses blocks as their delay so for example with 32 blocks that's around 16 seconds per cycle so that would be at least 30 seconds of delay before um, it automates or pushes the pistons on your farm so um, with this version you can add all of these just leave at least um, this part here empty so that when all of the items transfer um, the comparators will um, send a signal to this block and then push this redstone to the other side and just keeps on cycling because it these um, blocks just transfer from one hopper to the other in a cycle and that's how it works and to make a comparator you just need three redstone torches nether quartz and three stones and for the hopper it's just um, five iron and a chest for a redstone block just nine redstone and as you can see um, red red torch is just redstone and um, stick and for the piston like the regular piston we just need four cobblestone three wood planks of any kind iron and redstone and to make them a sticky piston we just need slime ball and the regular piston and you get this well compared to um, the comparator and the repeater um, if you wanted to as I mentioned add delay for that first version the repeater clock you need at least three um, smooth stone two redstone torches and a redstone which probably might be doubled compared to just 
using two two sets of this as you can see this is ready to go this version will be at least if we use them all at least three um, three minutes of delay per cycle compared to this which is expandable but it takes up lots of space and um, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this so let's start with a solid block here and make sure that the hopper is pointing that way just destroy this block and make sure you press shift and then click right click on that so that these two hoppers are pointing at each other and then put the comparators here and here which will detect um, if the blocks are moving or if the hopper is empty so once the hopper is empty um, it will send a signal to this block which would send a signal to this um, redstone here and here and put sticky pistons facing this way and this way then just add a block of redstone here and it's set to go by just adding blocks there and this will be serving as more of a power um, cycle for our farms and to hook this up just add redstone at this side or this side anything any of your choice just pick one side however be careful or take in mind that if you were gonna be wiring this um, this machine to your farm don't um, don't try to hook this up like this because it will mess up this piston which will push this redstone block and this hopper won't um, transfer all the items to the other hopper because if a hopper is um, powered by redstone the the hopper would would um, stop moving the blocks which would um, cause a uh, malfunction of this uh, hopper clock so let's just um, wire this up to this one and you can see it powered it up and to check if um, both sides are doing the same thing let's just put this and then hook it up and we'll see that once the cycle goes through it pushes this piston and when it goes to the other side it will push this piston so there you have it two versions of uh, cycle repeat uh, cycle clock um, this one I seen on most skyblock island however this one is fairly easy easier to maintain rather than that one is probably personal preferences I guess but this one is less compact it's more compact than this one so that's the uh, tutorial for a hopper clock hope this helps you in um, choosing which um, clock you will be using for your automated farms again this is Tachio um, cheers <laughs>